So that's one of the things that these promoters are looking for to put you on those main event cards. Entertainment value. So when I say that, I tell you how beautiful it is when you can look back and you can talk about I was in the era of one of the greatest entertainers in the sport. And what happens when you build yourself up that way? Yes, yeah, so now we came up short. But look, we've got to look at all the positives. That's the mindset and that's the perspective that we have to have, a positive one, always. Look at what we've achieved in the space of 11 years. It's phenomenal. And I want to thank every single one of you that's been riding with me. What a roller coaster journey. But you know what the problem is? Is that it's far from over yet. You know, we've done it once, we've done it twice. But doing it a third time hasn't been easy, but I believe it's something I can achieve. It's about making the right steps forward, working hard, improving, and it's got to come from here more than anything. It can't come from any external voices or influences. It's got to come from here. And it's only been a day, but when I sit back and I'm thinking, I know I've got a lot of this, man. I know I've got a lot of this. So yeah, just a video to say, thanks for your support. Thanks for being on this roller coaster journey with me. Keep your seatbelts tight because Deep, deep, deep down in here, I know we've got a lot more to bring, a lot more to bring to the game. And long may it continue. British Boxing, I appreciate you. We rise up together. Let's go. Bing, you get what I'm saying? This is brand. That's brand. His brand, no one knew what his brand was at first. He didn't know. But see, that's why <laughs> it starts to go from invisible, which you don't know shit about what your brand is right now, to on in pencil, sketch pencil, very light. You start to say, eh, the loss to Ruiz, he's a buster. He's just a physical specimen. And then he comes back and wins, loses again, loses again. And everyone thinks he's a phony. And then he comes back. So he's proven to you what his personal brand is. His personal brand is triumph. The story. You see, that's the power of a brand. Clowns don't understand that because they want to think small in their lives. And when you think small, you will be small and you will have envy and people will hate. And we don't care because we need all of that energy that you are not going to use. We're going to take it. So give it. We want all the smoke and you should want all the smoke. And those of us who receive the smoke build a brand and his brand is triumph. I'm a disruptor. Everything people tell me, you can't do that. I say, you watch my smoke and stay tuned because I want to watch you watch me win by helping people catapult. And I've already done it over 300 times. And the many, many thousands of people that are using our systems around the world, taking part in Olympics, world title fights, in boxing, UFC, it's, you can't make that up. These stories are real. And that's the appeal of personal brand. I can wake up every morning and say, thank you, God, and screw you jerks. Because I'm bringing all the energy and Anthony Joshua, once again, proves why they are investing in him with entertainment value. But one of the things you have to be willing to do is you have to sacrifice. And what is your sacrifice? You. What is your sacrifice? I hear you talking about you running. I hear you talking about you bumping in the ring. I hear you saying that. But when it comes down to knuckles and bending your knees and biting down on your mouthpiece, where is your real entertainment value sacrifice? Banff didn't do what he had to do in the ring, made mistakes, and you, they cost you in that division and, and failed to recover. Apart from at the end when he rolled the dice, as we've seen, and he got chinned, and, and that's all she wrote. How willing. Are you to get into a knuckle, a bite down on your mouthpiece, sit down in the stance, not bend your knees, but sit down in your stance because there's get your feet planted. Make sure that the balls of your feet 
are flat against the ground. And this is Mexican style in the 30s. See, people are talking about current day boxing. The Mexican style in the 30s was Archie Moore, 40s Archie Moore, when he did shit like step jab and drag, understanding the artistry. Don't talk to me about no punching when a man got 140 knockouts. And that's my upline, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud. Damn right, I'm proud. Because when a person has written a book of power, knowing how to deliver power through your body with inertia, for those of you who don't understand, the inertia is a vibration similar to electricity when your body goes, nah, but unassisted, unassisted. So when you hit some, boom, and there's a just consistent tremble throughout the body. That's inertia. That's why boxing is so great for a person. That's why your body, the dexterity, <laughs> dexterity is fluidity and your density changes. And so you look different. And people who box and understand to train the body, they look different. They feel different. Now, not to mention when, when these athletes are going into camps like 